Okay, so just a quick update after a reasonably productive day. Uh, so I've got all of the main wiring kind of sorted out now. You can see down the bottom I've got the uh, 185 amp Anderson. Obviously, if we look down here, the other side, so you've got the two plus and minus coming out of the um, out of the battery box. 84 volts on the end of that. That's the other end, not plugged in at the moment, but they should go together no problem. And this little cable here, as mentioned before, is the uh, center tap of the batteries. So it just makes it easy to balance if I need to. So what I've got happening up here, I think it's pretty, pretty reasonable. So Anderson down there, positive from the Anderson to uh, the incoming side of the main contactor, outgoing side of that, wired into the B plus, M plus side of the um, motor controller. It's not very obvious from this angle as directly downwards from there as in, in there if you can see it we I've got a cable that actually runs down this one here through the plate and into the uh, positive side of the motor what I did is just confirm with a 12 volt battery that positive and negative the motor actually spins uh, in the correct direction then I've also got from the Anderson negative side coming up here uh, into my 350 amp shunt and then from the power side of that goes to the uh, the battery minus side on the motor controller and um, I've left those um, brass uh, bolts deliberately long because they are a very convenient tap off point for other stuff and then once I've got everything um, tapped off that I want I'll just probably heat shrink over the whole thing to uh, you know prevent anything moving anything going loose all that kind of stuff uh, the motor minus obviously goes from there, goes past there, got a little bit of protection so it doesn't rub against the aluminium. And then that obviously goes to the motor minus down there. So, yeah, very nice to get it this far. Presumably in the next few days, I should actually be able to try this whole thing and see if it actually works. So I just need to work on the... Uh, just need to work on the um, on-off for the main contactor really now and then I should be able to program this and get it all wired in through its connectors. Cool, so the other thing that today was uh, worked on the throttle for this one. As we can see here, what I'll do is I'll just quickly pull this plate off and I'll show you what I've done with the throttle for this one. Okay, so for the throttle on this particular iteration of, the, of my plan, I have decided that I would use a um, one of these uh, pot boxes designed to be throttles, kind of like this. The let's see if I can get it to focus. The previous iteration of this thing, I just used a direct electronic throttle, so I just replaced this with an electronic version. In this case, um, I quite like the original. I like that it's got more travel than the electronic ones did, so um, kind of opted for this system here the um it uh this works fairly well it, there's a little bit of slack in there as you can see not too much but should be okay as is and it's a very nice smooth um feeling on that so i'm thinking that's probably going to work fairly well obviously always buy a spare because you know, getting things take longer than uh, than the money actually that they cost and the only real job that had to be done is if you can see there the original cable um, at the top of the picture just had a straight connector and then it had a little plate that locked it in place whereas the new one as you can see there has a um, threaded end so what i've had to do is just um, in the bottom of this thing here oops let's go around where it screws in I was able to actually just thread that plastic. It was an M10 by 1.25 millimeter thread. And then it's got a locking nut on there. So the whole thing has come together fairly well. Obviously I haven't tried it yet, but I'm fairly sure it's gonna work just fine. And uh, yeah, so pretty straightforward. So that's where things are at right now. Hopefully very shortly, we should be able to uh, give this thing a try, but definitely starting to look the part.